Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how you can properly upload World on Minehut in August 2021 since Minehut recently re removed its slash Worlds feature, its slash upload feature and its slash download feature. I'll be showing you how, how you can get your old world back into the server and can still play on them and how you can upload your own world. Let's get straight into it. Alright, I am now on the world I want to upload and if you want to upload a world to, to if it's to Mediafire, Discord, or to Minehut, the first thing you will always have to do is get the world file. So, you will go into the left hand corner, you will type percentage, so, percentage, app data percentage. Just press enter, there's no other way to get there. You press on Minecraft and press on save. So you have all the worlds you ever played on stored. So I want to upload, uh, where is it? I want to upload this world. So I right click, I will check on copy to and compromise zip file. Then it will create a new file at the bottom of the, at the bottom of, at the bottom of the file. Now we have to go to the Minehunt console. So we're on the Minehunt console. What you first want to do before you actually get started is to get the right plugin installed. We will use the Multiverse plugin. Let's first install that. A plugin, or as Minot likes to call it, add ons. You go to add ons, let it load for a little bit. So, yeah, I, as you can see, I already have a Multiverse installed. Um, but we will sort it Multiverse and then Multiverse. This one is the. Yeah, just this one and click on install. I already installed it, so I will not be doing it. So now you have the Multiforce plugin. Let's upload the world. What you're going to want to do is you go to worlds, you go to upload world, and now you will look for the file that you want to upload. But as you can see, this is the wrong folder. So what you want to do is you get to save file and you get uh, any file, doesn't really matter. Uh, I recommend you do it in downloads, so it's uh, all a little bit more organized. You drag it into downloads, and now there it is. I advise you to make it a, a short name. I'm just gonna name it test, because every time you will want to join the world, you have to type in this name, so go easy on yourself. Select the zip file, now you can see it is there. We press on test, we open it, and we upload it. Now we will wait till it uploads. Which takes a considerable amount of time. It's still uploading. Alright, the upload is now finished. Now we can go into File Manager. And I named it Test 1 because I have multiple tests. And as you can see, UL Test 1. But, I let's join the server real quick. Not my skin, I'm sorry. Um, this is the world, but this is not the world I want to be in. Uh, this is a, a different world. So, we now have the M, uh, the Multiverse plugin. So, as you can see, this these are all worlds I already uploaded, but how do we get the world we uploaded in the console to here? So, what we now want to do is that slash mv import is that we're going to import a world from the server files. Then we will type ul which stands for upload, that is for before all the worlds in Minehut, don't forget that. Test 1, that's what I named the world, and we want to make it a normal world, because it's an overworld, not a nether, and not the end. If it's a nether of the end, you have to type that. Uh, I believe nether is just nether, and end is the end. And I will test, I uh, will enter start importing world of UL test 1. We will wait for it to upload, and then we can go to mv list and now you can see well that's one uh, how do you join it slash mvtp multiforce teleport ul test one and you are in the world you wanted to upload now and if you want to uh, if you want to get back a world you had uploaded before they removed the plugin um, the world is already there so if we go back into the Minehut console, you see I have the uh, uh, UL testing. Uh, it's already there. So now you just have to type mv import, Im import, not what I just typed, 
and then type the exact name that's very important for all of them uh, and then I believe it was a normal world Uh, but if you want to download the world, you get back into the Minehunt console. Uh, say you did some changes and you want to download test one. You press on this little hitbox and then you click on the download file. Let it load for a little bit. A little bit more. <laughs> yes, successfully downloaded. Then it will pop up here. Test one, two, so I don't get confused. Save. And I have the world. After which, I, if I want to use it again, we grab the save files, we grab the downloads file, and now we have the UL test one. If we grab it and drag it into here, the UL test one will later appear in my uh, in my single player world. Um, the, the the name stays the same, but you have to check this name. This is how it stays in the file, so you can see. You add this one. I downloaded a world from Minehut. Now, if you thought this tutorial was helpful and I helped you out, uh, consider liking and subscribing. It doesn't have to. Just a, a quick request and uh, leave me down down in the comments. If it's confusing, please ask me, and I will I will try to answer all of confusion. Thanks for watching.